All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai Hashem Chakadash, and giving double honors to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, great millstone, who well, peace and salutation to Yilei. Hashem Al Mappa, his name is Mappa from the great millstone, playing tables, camp located here in the city of Philadelphia. Come on, another wee lesson. Shalom, of course, the Israelite foreigners, like into the speck of word, they look like the heathen nations where they've been scattered to, but yeah. their lineage, by the way, their fathers go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's the spirit that bear witness in our spirit that we're the children of the Most High. Shemia Mopin is a Mapa, Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. Come with a wee lesson. I'll play the video. This is a article of, of NPR. A new law signed today by Texas Governor Greg Abbott makes unauthorized crossings into the state from Mexico a state crime. It's already a violation of federal immigration policy and... So it's more and more law because it's already um, illegal for you to enter and to, uh, you know, do the border uh, without proper... Uh, credentials uh, you know, and of course they grant you uh, posit, uh, permission to enter and you know based on the way you enter uh, there's various stipulations on even that because you can enter and then still be within the state um, illegally depending on the grounds of which you are entered and the grounds of how why you're staying and doing uh, what you're doing in the, in the particular state um, as uh, you know, Texas is uh, part of here this union <laughs> of the United so called United States of America despite the division as what we see because if it's already a federal law immigration law then you know why really do they have to make up their own law you know, so that goes to show even a bunch of confusion and division. But um, we'll continue forward. And I'm also going to get queued up a precept in Isaiah, the 10th chapter. And also the book of Psalms, the 93rd chapter and our 94th chapter. And the verse is verse 20, which I'll just read one already. Isaiah chapter 10 and 1, it says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay, and you have um, these different decrees or orders. And the creed go back to Chakak, which go back to um, to enact lawgiver, one who decrees, and the rulers <coughs> are Edomites. Job nine and twenty four. It reads. For the earth, uh, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The wicked are the Edomites. He covered the faces of the judge thereof. If not, where and who is he? The wicked are ruling. Malachi 1 and 4, wherein Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord, How of hosts they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have indignation forever. You go into the border of wickedness, going into the word border itself is Gabawal. Gabawal goes into a territory enclosed within a boundary. And um, even they got territory of darkness figuratively. Now, um, landmark. 
uh, you have it within um, everywhere they uh, make boundaries of which they have control of the earth there's wickedness that is done within and this is one of them okay because uh, when you go into history um, you know Issachar which are the so-called Mexicans which are one of the 12 tribes of Israel Issachar goes into Yashashkar which goes into in Hebrew which means he is hired and um, that was uh, uh, me uh, the place of uh, Texas that is was uh, inhabited um, you had by Issachar and owned by Issachar so called Mexicans okay you could go into you know that history you can go into different um, uh, war you know Mexican American war and which uh You can check all that out. And how basically uh, these Edomites, uh, you know, took um, land <clears throat> from, um, you know, tr tribes that are part of the Israel, children of Israel or the sons of God. Mexican American War, also known as the United States, as the Mexican War was invasion of Mexico by the United States Army from 1846 to 19, 1848. It followed the American annexation, which annexation was the 1845 annexation of the Republic of Texas into the United States. Texas was admitted to the Union, the 28th state, on December the 29th of 1845 claim territory you see it okay it says uh, which Mexico still consider its territory because Mexico refused to recognize the Treaty of Velasco okay you can read more of this history and read more history in general you'll see you know uh that uh, these Edomites uh, have been going around conquering and taking um, the earth, okay, via uh, America, NATO, the EU, all right, the beast. So, we're going to go into, just back to the article. Law enforcement in Texas can arrest someone suspected of illegally entering the country. KERA's Stella Chavez reports that immigrant advocates are worried about how this law will be enforced. Inside a red brick office building in suburban Dallas, a couple dozen people sit and listen to an immigration attorney talk about the law, which carries a jail sentence of up to six months for first-time offenders and up to 20 years for people with previous convictions. Attorney Jaim Vasquez tells them that under this legislation, a judge could drop charges if the person agrees to be deported to Mexico. It doesn't matter if the person isn't Mexican. The law is written horribly. It's terrible, says Vasquez. Ruby Powers, an immigration attorney from Houston, agrees. I just think that it's going to be a big mess. She says there are too many questions about how vigilantly police will enforce the new law. Everyone should have just a plan, a place to have your documents, birth certificates, marriage, everything in one place. Be prepared, have a plan if something were to happen. Powers wonders if officers will be trained to understand the nuances of someone's immigration status. I think we're going to see a lot of lack of probable cause, but by the time an individual gets detained and potentially deported, they might not have the resources to challenge the probable cause finding. One of the session attendees, Gustavo Caballero, is from Honduras and has lived in North Texas for two decades. El, el, el migrante 
va a salir a la calle con miedo. He says immigrants eh, like him will be afraid to go out. Sale a la calle y si no tiene el conocimiento, if they, pues, yeah, because pretty much they're being hunted, and them they're gonna pretty much target you, you know, look at you based on your outward. Oh, I think he may be illegal. Let's and um, give him a search, and um, like as they had mentioned, um, what first hand offenders, um something like six months and uh reoffenders basically up to 20 years and you can't even go by what that because you know the law they do what they want to do because it's in their power of their own hand to do so okay let me get daniel 7 real quick in 23 uh, making another point that i had mentioned this is Daniel 7 and 23, and it reads, it says, Thus said, he said, the fourth beast, which is the Roman Empire, okay, which um, this is the second leg of the Roman Empire, all right, the deadly wound that was healed, uh, also known in Revelation. Um, this is that, uh, uh, Ten horns, beast with the ten horns, and the seven heats, the seven uh, major uh, power structure uh, kingdom Esau ruled as. Okay. Um, you have the ten horns, the EU. But it goes on, it says, uh, The fourth beast shall come forth, sh shall be the fourth kingdom, pardon me. Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth. Which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And through America, this beast has uh, devoured the whole earth, conquered the entire earth. So, uh, so ancient Rome didn't conquer the entire earth, but America has. All right, this beast system. All right. Just making that quick point. There's other points can be made in Daniel's as well. But we'll just make this a very quick lesson. And I'll go over some things and we'll get back. But pretty much your oppressor hunts you down. Because he's a cunning hunter anyway. And he's very um, subtile. And um... You know, he's using uh, these different decrees to put uh, you uh, Latin tribes, uh, starting with like, well, Issachar and, you know, a lot of you, well, a lot of Jake go, like I say, they're, you know, could be going through Mexico and stuff, but they don't, it's just not limited to so-called Mexicans and, and um, you know, these different Central Americans that, you know, would use that different border cross to enter into the United States okay and remember you have a natural border as well They're not all gates you know maybe most people don't know that but any of um we'll go back to the article because I don't want to make this too long. You know their rights. They could get into more trouble or take unnecessary risks, he adds. For 22-year-old Luis Hernandez, this is a painful reminder that he narrowly missed applying for DACA, a status that would temporarily let him stay in the country. Now this is just making me feel like, hey, now I have to worry at a daily that all I built, everything I worked to, is now being, you know, threatened again. Which that's the curses, and that's another reason why the people of Honduras, which is every tribe of Zebulon, um, <clears throat> you know, Guatemala, you go into the 12 tribes tra chart, or you'll see uh, uh, various uh, Central America, uh, Panama to, uh, you go to uh, Panama, 
get that real quick. One second, just double going over it. Always good to re go over these things. from the tribe of Zebulon is from um, Guatemala the Panel. Yeah. It's, Zeb it's Zebulon. Okay. And you have Mexicans obviously are Issachar. Okay. And you have other tribes. People get down there to get into America. All right. Now Benjamin was telling me even Benjamin try to come through Texas and all of that. You know. So called West Indians. I mean, uh, West, uh, West, yeah, yeah, West Indies, and West Indies, yep, okay, um, yeah, but you're being hunted, okay, by your oppressor, okay, dude said he didn't want to go outside, um, those are curses, and you can go to the book of Deuteronomy, and it'll tell you about certain curses that befell the Israelites, which recognize these different Latin tribes as Israelites, okay, not just so-called Negroes, all right, or like so-called black people, okay. Um, they're not only Israelites. You have other tribes, the various North American Indians, Seminole Indians. You have... Um, and these different Latin tribes are part of the Israelites. Also had the Israelite foreigners, like unto the speckled bird that looked different in appearance, but lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. I see Issachar here, there, work hard and swagged out. You know, got more swag than a Judite, <laughs> in a sense. You know, with the swag, the gear, the, as they call it, the drip. So I'm gonna get one precept. This is Deuteronomy. It's a curse. Chapter 28. <clears throat> I'll read in 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkest not to the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he command thee. And we um, as a people have practiced idolatry, serving other gods other than Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. So. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 66. All right, starting at 65, I'll get it. It says, And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, as we were scattered, which I'll just read, starting at 64, part it. It says, And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Okay, worshiping various idols, being into modern day Christianity. Okay, worshiping Cesare Borgia, a so called wheat, um, Jesus, okay, or, or white Jesus, but the, the Lord actually was a so called dark skinned man that sprang out of the tribe of Judah and, um, most people, even if they in even in Latin tribes, they they if you showed them that they would, you know, a lot of them would would, would say deny it uh, because they even a lot of them can consider themselves as being weight. <laughs> but going on, it says, and among these nations shall thou find no ease. Okay, and America is a place where, you know, primarily. 
we have found no ease. Okay, as he's talking about ease, they don't want to go outside because, you know, it's, 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 it's not just the custom agents. The, well, really, the police can come at you, and you know how Texas roll, you know. Very, very uh, racist at, in, in Texas. We're a guy in Hebrew, which means uh, no ease going into disturb. Okay, ease going into uh, rest to rest. But so no rest. Okay, so you will be disturbed. All right, which Jake is disturbed. Neither shall the fold of thy foot have rest, but the Lord, Yahweh, shall give thee their trim a trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of mind. Okay, and Jake has all of that. Israelites have that sorrow of mind, where they are languishing, they're fainting. You know, you upset. You know, you depressed. All of that. Okay. Your desires being taken from you. Okay? Because you can go outside and you could be now imprisoned. Alright? Which you still could be imprisoned too, wrongfully. But this more so sets it. And it's crazy because, you know, the possessors took the land from you. <laughs> Alright? It wasn't even your land. So, you know, it's very, very. Uh, insane Psalms the 49th chapter and 11 it says their inward thought being the, the Edomites is that their houses shall continue forever in their dwelling places to all generations they called their lands after their own names and they took the lands alright from the Israelites and different of course in America all right, and across the earth where Israelites dwelt. But right here in America, you know, it took a lot of the land, all the land really, from the Israelites, okay, Latin tribes, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, all right? Right. So, we'll get read more and then I'll just get maybe a few more precepts and that'll be it. Says lawyer Priscilla Olivares is that the law will disproportionately affect black and brown people, regardless of immigration status. And so we're talking about Texans that do have lawful status. We're talking about Texans that are United States citizens that will be in danger of being racially profiled, arrested, and even, even deported. That's why residents like Jacqueline Sanchez Martinez say they have to beef up on their knowledge of the law and their rights. Even if you have any sort of um, protection, whether you're a resident, whatever you are, you're still being targeted. She grabbed pocket-sized Know Your Rights cards and packets in Spanish and English to share with her undocumented parents. She's afraid this law could get them deported. To me, these laws are directly impacting my family and they directly impact me because at the end of the day, like, if something is to happen to my family, like, okay, yes, I'm 21 years old, but you think I want my parents to live somewhere else? The new law is expected to take effect in early March. In the meantime, advocates say they'll keep warning people about what's coming. So that's it. You know, more hell. More hell is coming, active in uh, said March of, I believe, 2024. So um, let's uh, get also... Um, and they break up the households, you know, too. You know, they have broken up households and such. Um, that's part of a curses too, all right, that we would uh, uh, go through. Being sold into slavery, you know, all of that. So 
So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 94 and verse 20. It says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? Exactly. And, you know, this stuff that is being done, Imal, is nothing but trouble or Imal in labor, toil for and wearisomeness, misery, basically for uh, Israelites. All right. Not only um you Issacharites and um different latin tribes but even some of you uh darker uh tribes uh in the hue can 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 just get scooped up and you know them thinking basically you're not you're not a uh uh supposed to belong here and they could get you in the mix you know even if you are supposed to be here and have credentials you could still get caught up you know, so you better have your documents, <laughs> as they say. But you can't, as the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy. So, you know, it's better that you Israelites repent to the Lord and be under, obviously, his protection. You know, we're subject to payments. You know, we under Esau, Edom, who have rule of the earth. So, and, you know, more oppression is uh, coming and harder days is coming. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 12, 12, and verse 1. It says, Help, Lord, Yahweh, for a godly man ceaseth, for a faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak violently, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord, Yahweh, shall cut off flattering lips, and... The tongue that speaketh proud, proud things, and the Lord is going to do that. These are very, very proud things that are spoken and boasted. All right, especially here in Great America, you know, you have, um, you know, a lot of very, very, very uh, proud things that are uh, are spoken. Make America great, being one of the uh, big um. Uh, big um, slogans, okay, which basically is just, you know, they want us to be back in this uh, captivity and then the uh, rule even at a greater rate, <laughs> a greater portion. Because they see themselves tall. It says, this is uh, Daniel chapter 7 to 20, in the, and of the ten horns that were in his heed and of the other which came up and before whom three fell, even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look were was more uh, stout than his fellows. All right, you can go with the French, the uh, the British, and the Spanish. All right, and then you have how America became a nation. Okay, and you see how proud is you going to stoutness, you know, amongst obviously the rest of the uh, so called say Europeans, Edomites, you know, they are the most proud, great Rob, okay, captain or chief, all right, in the Hebrew, okay, which they're very arrogant, you know, when I was over in the UK, over in Scotland, and you know, they uh, pretty much despise a lot of, uh, and when you go to a lot of different um, countries when you travel, they despise Americans because, so-called Americans because of the pride that's pretty much oozing off of uh, them. Because we're casting around the American image. A lot of times we go into these different countries, like I say, they, they can sense and feel that, Okay. Um, what else are we going to get? Back to Psalms chapter 12 and verse 4. Who have said with our tongue, we will prevail, our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Who, and who, hey, Esau says that, okay? Because you know, he got the power and he sees himself as a god, Okay. 
for for the oppression of the poor, which are the Israelites, for the sign of the needy, now will I arise, said the Lord Yahweh, I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. And the Lord is going to do that due to deliverance and the protection that he's going to bring. All right. Time of Jacob trouble. All right. So the Lord is going to defend Jerusalem, the elect of the nation of Israel from Esau, Edom, and the wickedness from these heathen. All right. It says, uh, uh, also in verse 8 it says the wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted okay and you had the vilest men pursuing the Esau Edom lifted up okay which they are violent in the earth pursuant to Job the 30th chapter okay I had to find that. This is Job 38. It says, They were children of fools. Yeah, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. Okay? This goes into history. Alright? The base state of Esau, Edom. Alright, going about. Alright? In the uh, Caucasus Mountains and being in that base estate. You know? During the time we ruled, all right, uh, for a thousand years, all right, the Dark Ages, you know, these Edomites uh, were in a very basic state, okay? And they still are base people, okay? They never change, <laughs> all right? Uh, Naka, which goes in, uh, this is just vile. They ain't really speaking much here. You can go into vile. Uh, definition extremely unpleasant okay and this is America which is bitter Margo this is a bitter place Marar the Hebrew well, it's a bitter like myrrh very unpleasant and now I am their song yeah I am their byword yeah they're you're their taunt okay they abhor me, they flee far from me, and spare not to spit in my face. Right, exactly. All right, and it's a complete spit in your face to have your country um, and your lands and territories taken from you. And then um, uh, you uh, being what? Oppressed, okay? And even, like, you already had hell on you. And you got more hell being pushed on you. Alright. This is also. Uh, the book of Psalms chapter. 14 and 4. Have all the workers of iniquity. No knowledge. Who eat up my people. The workers of iniquity. Are the Edomites. Who eat up my people. As they eat bread. And call not upon the Lord. Yahweh. Okay. That's the lesson due to spirit. All praises on the glory to you. How about Shema Shai Bashem Kaka Dash Double Lines to the elders and apostles of Great Bill Stone Peace and Salutation to you like Texas Governor signs law making it a state crime, a state crime, which is already is a federal crime, but this is a state crime to cross the border illegally. Shalom to the elect.